Hello and welcome back to the Majestic Pinball Restorations YouTube channel. Today I have yet another Gottlieb machine, one of my favourites, uh, that is Victory, which was released in 1987. They made 3,315 of these and it was designed by John Trudeau. Uh, I really struggled to say his name. John Trudeau did some uh, absolutely amazing machines, did a lot of work for Gottlieb. Um, some of my favourite Gottlieb machines were made by him. He also did Genesis, which I've already covered on this channel, so if you want to see another game by John, please check out that video. Genesis is, again, another one of my favourites. So Victory is a wonderful machine. There's a lot more rules to it than what people think. It's a single ball machine, so there's no multi-ball, um, so no excitement from that. But there's a lot of like little hidden quirks and features and little bits that most people probably wouldn't even realise are going on. So I'll just do a fly over the playfield as normal, let you hear some of the music, and uh, I'll crack on with how to play Victory. Okay, victory, very easy game to understand. You are a car with massive machine guns on the front competing in a race and you want to cross the finish line as quick as possible. So the main concept of the machine is to cross all seven checkpoints and then reach the finish line. So I'll just go through where all the checkpoints are as that's the main concept of the machine and then I'll give you some hints and tips on what else is going on. On the plunge, the ball is supposed to go up this lane on the left hand side and go all the way around fire on the ramp and come down to right hand flipper. It doesn't do that every time. I've spent hours tweaking everything, trying to get it to do it every time, and it just doesn't. I don't know why. Anyhow, the first checkpoint, number one, you've got this shot on the left hand side. Um, it's kind of like a little roll under, Gottlieb used to call it. You just need to touch that switch. That shot does feed into a scoop um, just here, but you just need to touch that switch. You don't actually have to complete the shot and go all the way into the scoop. Shooting five times will give you extra ball. The way extra ball works is a little bit weird. It just holds the ball up in the scoop uh, and plunges out another ball. As soon as you drain that ball, you don't get any warning at all. It just fires straight out the scoop. So the way it awards extra balls is a little bit strange. So if you do get it to lock up in the scoop, just be aware that the second you drain your ball, it's going to fire straight out at you. Anyhow, that's checkpoint number one. Number two is on the left, uh, the right hand spinner, excuse me. Um, shoot the spinner will come round, it will go into this little up picker and bang up onto the top playfield. Checkpoint number three, you've got a right hand orbit shot um, on the top of the mini playfield. That will feed all the way around to the back, come up around the ramp and come down to the right hand flipper. Number four, you've got on the left hand in lane. Number five, you've got a little stand up target here. Number six, you've got a little stand up target here on the right hand side. Number seven is on the right hand in lane and then finally you'll have the finish line which is up on the plunge shot um, so you just want to shoot the spinner goal all into the back and you'll get a huge celebration crazy flashing lights it's super bright and then you're gone to the next race and it wants you to do that whole sequence over and over again so with the checkpoints um, as soon as you progress onto the next one um, you get a hurry up value on the display which is the checkpoint bonus that will quickly count down so the quicker you can bank the checkpoints together the more they're worth so to build up your multipliers in the middle, um, you have these targets in the center of the playfield that spell finish. Shooting all of those will give you a multiplier. Now that carries over from ball to ball for your entire game, so it's quite important to build that up um, early on if you can. Now with most Gottlieb machines, spinners are super duper important. Gottlieb loved a spinner and uh, they're super valuable on victory. Uh, if you're playing this competitively or in a league or a tournament or blah blah blah, the best tip that I could give you would to just be to shoot the left hand spinner all day and ignore every single rule of the machine. <laughs> because the left hand spinner, if you get a nice clean shot to it, feeds back to the right hand flipper, which sets you straight up for another shot to that spinner. Now the spinners alternate. For one shot onto that one, it's worth 10,000. Then it knows you've hit that and it will light this spinner. But every time you come down the right hand in lane, it lights that spinner in the top corner for times two. So every single spin is worth 20,000 points. And that on victory is a lot. Another feature we have up on the top corner is the upper play field. Um, not a lot to shoot for up there really. You've got two sets of flippers. They're the little mini ones, like little old style um, electromechanical flippers. Uh, you have four targets up in the corner that spell fuel. You'll need to spell them in order. So hitting them out of sequence, you're done. You need to knock them all down. They'll all come back up and then you need to carry on spelling them in order. Shooting all those in order will progress the values. So you have 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 and special. 
Um, those are awarded every single time you complete the bank of targets. You also have the two main ramps on the machine that can be lit for 100,000. So you'll notice that will alternate. So you've got the little ramp on the top of that play field, and then you have the left hand shot which feeds the top ramp. Those alternate for 100,000 each. And off the top of my head, I think that is about everything. If you're ready, let's go on for some gameplay on victory. Okay, I've just had to put the glass in um, just to keep the noise down, so sorry about any glare. Um, I also forgot to mention that this is on five balls instead of three, primarily because um, I'm a terrible player and this is a really hard game, but also because I'm really lazy and when I bought it, it arrived like that and I haven't changed it to three ball. So let's play victory. <laughs> So there's checkpoint number one. Now a little tip with number two, it didn't work there, but if you shoot the left hand flip, uh, left hand ramp, it will feed to the upper play field. If you just raise the right hand flip up, nine times out of ten, it will just feed straight down, just let it drain, and it will go into checkpoint two, but it didn't actually work that time, but it normally does. Great shot on the uh, spin out for 20,000 a pop. Checkpoint four. That's checkpoint five. Straight away off the bat. Okay, so now we're on to checkpoint seven. Easiest way to hit that is to shoot the spinner shot, which I just missed. That a fed throw like it's supposed to, that would have given us the finish line. But never mind, so there we go.
So that's the qualifying race completed. Now we have to do the whole thing again. Oh, no, I've got a special lit. I think I'll give you an extra ball. And it did. So, on the second race, everything, the, um, not everything, the um, checkpoint bonus is doubled. So on the first, the qualifying race, it was 200,000 and then quickly counted down. Now it's 400,000 and counts down, obviously, um, from there. So that was worth 301,000, so that was not a bad shot at all. Got another extra ball, not entirely sure why. I was hoping that would happen. That's quite a nice feature. I don't think you can quite sit on the camera. There isn't a gate on the shooter lane and it's supposed to be like that. So you can, when the ball comes down the right hand out lane, you can nudge a little bit and get it back into the shooter lane. There we have it, that was Got Lube's Victory, released in 1987. As always, thank you for watching. Please feel free to check out the other videos on my channel for more pinball machine tutorials and gameplay videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks again.